Tower Troops are finally coming to Clash World. Yes, in this video was the first sneak peek of the Princess Tower 2. Will be released soon at the 13th of December. And today's video is about taking a look at your comments, all the reactions, and also what this could mean for Clash Royale. Also, next couple of days, we're gonna see some in-game gameplay before the actual update drops. So you might think when this could be, but just to let you know. So the next couple of days there will be exciting content around that. And today we're gonna take a look at how you guys react there and my kind of standpoint on tower troops from professional Clash Royale players. So first of all, Gion asks currently. I tweeted this here, tower troops are coming to Clash Royale with this video link. So if you like watching this video, you should really watch the video from yesterday before because there I was uh, I was actually explaining. Tower troops, how they work, how the Princess Tower tube will be like coming into Clash Royale, how you will be able to unlock them, which level will be, and so on. So, this is kind of what like people treated their Let's Go Sparky Terror soon. Was like kind of the thing I feel like people kind of guessed when they saw this. But this is actually not gonna happen. I don't really think Clash Royale is gonna bring just like cards from Clash Royale, like which are already in there as a tower tube. They're just gonna put the princess in there because it's cool on the tower, so it makes sense just as a starting thing, as a starting tower tube. So I don't think you need to worry about that. So if you're like, an example, I don't know, a graveyard player, I don't really think um, your opponent will be able to have the mother witch on the tower. Maybe at one point, but maybe just for a special offer for $1,000. Maybe there. So also, I'm saying the game is finished, finished game i'm not happy with that lol really missed the old days um yeah wizard terror soon um mo what the <laughs> how much money this will be competitive <laughs> 69 okay that's a funny tweet actually so this is kind of thing on twitter right i'm also gonna take a look now at clash royale tweets i think it will be way more spicy there so i'm not just praying nobody's insulting there but yeah let's see let's take a look at clash royale tweet so guys the reason why i'm taking a look here on x first or on twitter i'm always calling it still twitter dude like because the community there is completely different view from you guys because i actually um, thought there will be a ton of negative feedback on my video right because of course i got this information some days ago and i was like hmm what could happen i was actually like so excited for the comments because it's always so cool to see you commentating and even with just like some to sometimes like this sucks this is this is it's still it's like interesting to see what you guys think when we are like creators publish something which supercell is kind of providing us as an update because there are always people saying oh this is great i loved it and there's just some people which is good like there are just like a few comments which are like in between saying this is good when this happens it's just mostly bad or good these are like the two options most likely i see on the comment section but i'm kind of surprised on the youtube comments there because as you guys can see here like the community on twitter is so I would say it's so competitive and I feel like the main reason why people are doing this is because they all think I mean like this is like a really dumb comment I don't know how it gets like 6 out of 55 likes so nerf goblin giant at tower tubes nobody asked for I mean it's just like two different things right so yeah goblin giant still needs a nerf but this is like actually in content update or like an update in general like player base update and I mean balance changes this is like completely different system so like they have also different people for that so I don't really know why they're doing that but yeah so I feel like the main people, like the main thing people are complaining about on X is like there are a ton of uh, pro players. They're not really pro players, but like more often esport players, which are like more caring, like playing like top 1k ladder, top 200 ladder, which are feeling like, okay, this might be too big of an interaction change in the top of ladder, making the game maybe more matchup dependent. And the thing is like, I don't really think we should judge too early, right? We don't know how the Princess Tower will look in game after the update, what it will be if it's changing matchups or so on, and also how the first uh, tower tube will look into uh, at the 2024 at the start of the year. So this is kind of the feeling. Also, I feel like most people are pretty mad already because they think it's gonna be behind the paypal uh, paywall, and I'm just praying that Supercell is not gonna do. It. We don't have like actual information there if it's if there's gonna be like a really random special offer for one hundred dollars at the start of the start of the update day like at the at example like the first of january when the first real tower two comes after the princess if there's just gonna be like okay you can just like max it out by just like paying 100 dollars in a shop similar to the evolutions back in the days we don't know about that but i feel like people are just really mad already because they just have like the concern that this is gonna happen again like it, it happened before with the clash royale card evolutions where i feel like a ton of people like the kind of concept of evolution just like adding something new to the game but in the end it was so mad uh, it was so like bad since it was like behind a, such a huge paywall so people are really mad and it's still behind a paywall right you need to buy the pastoral every single season i think this is like the main reason why people are mad at that um because their thing is gonna be the same but i'm just really praying and i told supercell one of the times every single creator told them make it free to play friendly please okay it's a note thank you 
So guys, now we're taking a look at the video and actually the feedback was actually incredible. So of course, a ton of people might just dislike the video because I'm just like a bad YouTuber or something or they don't like how I commentated that. But seeing this like-dislike ratio on an update is absolutely amazing. I couldn't believe that when I saw my eyes because normally even like people like me, they're just gonna do a, do a like. Of course, sometimes even like the update is bad because they like the video, how I'm like talking about that. But a ton of times at balance changes, at example, when I'm just like talking about it, balance changes and even saying myself they're bad, they're just disliking the video because they dislike the balance changes, right? So this is kind of what happened also uh, like with the evolutions, like a ton of people dislike them because they were kind of pay to win or some other updates beforehand so just basically people when they don't like something they just dislike the video because they don't, don't like the updated example but does really want 907 likes to 9 so this is kind of what i want to talk about right so when i opened up twitter after doing this tweet and like taking a look at twitter aka x i was like okay the feedback is really negative and then i was like opening my youtube studio app and people are actually like not really that negative about that so like the first comment say as long as it's free to play for the season okay additional i will take time uh, plenty of time to learn all new interactions and if only uh taiwan tattoo was released every season i guess it will affect the matter heavily so this is a finally comment this is a really like in between comment where you say okay a uh, person think it's not that bad when this happens and i previously I agree with that. This is going to make the game match ma make uh, the game more match dependent. Of course, of course, I also have like a more pro community. I feel like maybe some other YouTubers have like different, um, yeah, different, way different community, right? Like Ian Riley, me, and so on. We're like really pro. Like we're all pros, so like our content is also like for players which want to get better. I feel like OJ has like a way more casual community, so I would kind of want to see like how his community reacts to it. So. Now I want to see evolution tower tubes. I always thought we have a different towers was a really cool idea, like having a prince have a shotgun and do more damage, close range, and less damage, long range. I just hope these new cards don't completely outshine the original prince style. This is also proof I'm reading every single comment every single day on this channel. I'm not gonna I'm not able to respond to everything, especially on like updates, balance changes, I'm always reading that and also give feedback to Supercell. It's okay after new tower tubes, just don't add an additional tower level. I can't imagine level 11 king with the level 50 princess tower. You didn't watch the video, my man. I, you didn't watch the video, I told you, you can't overlevel your princess tower. This is a good change, in order to keep a game relevant, you've got to change things up and add more content to the game. Tower tube evolution, I had to say it, new levels to keep the game going. Okay, I agree with the evolutions maybe and like new game, like add new like stuff added to the game. I always agree with that, right? I feel like Clash Realm needs to continue doing the stuff where they're like adding something to the gameplay, but level 15 is not going to bring us anything besides, yeah. Super sell more money. So many actions are based on the fixed characteristic of the Prince Tower. This will ruin the balance completely guaranteed. I mean, yeah, to be honest, it might, but as we as we as we don't know yet um, how the Princess Tower looks, right? We don't know how it will look. But as I said, as soon as I can publish something, I will do that. The people who say this will destroy Clash are the same people who complain that Clash Shell is too boring and doesn't get enough update changes. This is like the top comment, and I want to take a closer look on that because. I kind of agree with that on uh, on the side, really, because people always want something something great, right? But what do you want in Clash Royale? This is like a major question of this video. What do you want in Clash Royale? I don't mean in an aggressive way, just like more interesting way. What do you really want, right? What would make you happy gameplay-wise? Of course, like you would say, like better rewards there and there. But what do you want to see as a gameplay change in Clash Royale? Because Clash Royale also needs to evolve. Uh, gameplay wise they need to bring some new stuff it just has to happen because otherwise the game gets boring so facts people have been saying the game is dead destroyed for ages and still far from it lol they're only kidding themselves you can tell uh, by how activated the game how active the game still is even after the 15 evolutions and it's just the thing i'm always also mentioning the game itself plus is just so good that it's so hard to kill even you could kind of think sometimes super is trying their best they still didn't kill it they still didn't achieve their goal capper some people love to complain just focus on negative all things and yeah i just love my community you guys are awesome and this is like really really nice i'm gonna love this this is like yeah, that's a, that's a really good thing um yeah this is like really really good comment section so yeah just like overall the feedback from you guys is on twitter i twitter i feel like the boycott has really started um but you guys in the comment section 
were like really excited. So this is like kind of a difference from you guys on YouTube and Twitter. Which side are you on? Let me know in the comment section. You guys are on the side from uh, YouTube viewers. I mean, you're on YouTube, right? But maybe you didn't see the video yet because it's also like just got published one day ago. Or are you more on the Twitter side saying, man, this is not good. This shouldn't happen. This will be finally at the end of Clash Royale. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think about that. I would say I'm out. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow for an next Clash Royale episode. And I'm so excited for Tower Troops in Clash Royale. And I'm really praying it's not behind the paywall. I think this is the most important thing. Also, check one of the other videos out. Also, the Tower Troop explanation video will be linked there. So I'm out. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Goodbye.